Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. Peace. So good to see him back in the British ring. The atmosphere was incredible. Um, shout out to, of course, Amir and to Shah and the team and Joe, especially coming in at what four or five weeks' notice. Um, some uh, inspirational corridor talk as well on the way to the ring. I've not seen that before. It was, I was pumped. Were you there? Yeah, I was there. Oh, I didn't you know that. You were there. You were in the zone. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know that. Fantastic to have Amir back. Over to you guys for questions for Amir and Joe. Where does that rank, Amir, the new performances so far? Um, you know, obviously it was it was two years at the ring. Um, I'm not gonna say, oh yeah, it was, it was one of my best performances. I mean, my performance-wise, it was a bad performance. So it's not like I was a beat a world champion. You know what I mean? I know there's better fights out there for me. So this is another fight in the office uh, that we put in the bag, and you know, just move on from here. Uh, I took all the experience out of this fight. It was just nice to um, train with Joe. Who's the trainer? Who's my new head trainer? So getting to know each other a bit better. Also Tony Brady, you know the conditioning that we did for the fight. So I know you know the team I have is just right. Um, giving the giving the hand a test, which was another thing. But I mean the Greco come to win. Um, no no disrespect. I mean he had uh, over ten weeks of training for this fight. He looked in good shape at the press at the way at the press conference. He was very confident. So. Um, you know, I, I thought probably one of the best, probably the best Le Greco there was to fight out there because normally he only gets like two, three weeks notice for fights. But um, we're back. The main thing is I'm back now, back to the Big Bang, and I want to mix in with the big names in boxing. And I think today I did send a statement. Whoever they put in front of me, if I hit with a shot like that, they would have gone down. So now it's time to kind of, me and Eddie sit down next week, hopefully, and see some big names out there and let's start getting them in. Who would you like to see next time here? Sorry? Who would you like to see next? Um, you know, the divisions, uh, the 147 divisions are amazing. Um, I, the way I made for this fight was quite easy. Um, making 147 not a problem. There's some huge names uh, from the Thurman to, to Spences. Uh, there, there's world titles to be won in the welterweight division. So I'm just going to wait and see. I mean, it's always changing. But look, I'd like to fight Brona. Brona's now, he's going to be fighting tonight. So it'd be nice to see. The winner of Bruno and Vargas, I think that would be a good fight at one for seven. I mean, your best mate Kelbrook, he was there. What did you feel about um, confronting you? Uh, you know what, it's uh, it, it end of the box is a business and Kel's, uh he's a good fighter. You know, he, he, he's at 154. Like I said, I'm still campaigning at 147. Right. When we when we sit down with Eddie, we know when the right choice move move is gonna be to one fifty four then or maybe a catch rate then the fight's gonna happen. But look, I'm not really scared. I think my, my, my performance proves it. And today, I'm not one of fight to ever be scared of anyone. If I went up to fight the likes of like Canelo and, and, and take his best shot, so you know, someone like Kell Brook, I think um, it's always good to have that rivalry. And I think if it ever happens, it'll, it'll be big. But at the moment, um, I want to sit with Eddie and see what my future is going to be. If it's going to be at 147, who the names are. I want to win a world title at 147 first before I start going up. So. You know, I'm still, uh, I feel at the peak of my career. Uh, like I was saying the other day, I feel better now than I was when I was 28. I've got the speed, I've got the explosiveness, I've got the power. And I think you guys saw me today. Awesome. Amir, Amir, that was the fastest knockout of your career, wasn't it? Is that faster than Demetrius Lee? That was 17 uh, seconds. That was a long So this is 39 seconds. That was the fastest. That is a big message for a combat fight. No, How definitely. I mean, you know, there's, there's, there's levels in boxing, and I knew that. Um, well, I knew that it was going to be a tough fight against the Greco, but I was a better fighter than him. Um, and if I used my skills, I fought better opposition. But, you know, he tried to get under my skin uh, at the press conference, and he thought that's his only way of beating me, you know, by getting under my skin. Um, I'm a lot wiser now, I'm a lot older. I don't make the same mistakes I used to make. So it's all about just learning from those fights and getting better with the fighter. And I'm still learning, you know, I'm still learning. And like I said, there's something that helps the fighter as well, you know what I mean? It makes things easier for me. I like that way that they both communicate because they want the best for the fighter, basically. Joe, is telling Khan to look at the Greco, is that something that's specific for Amir or just what you like your fighters? No, no, I, I, I would say it's, it's a smart thing to do for who's ever in the ring uh, for any fighter because what, you know, there's certain, like in poker, there's certain tells, you know, you're going to see something, you're going to see uh, something you like 
that you may not have spotted before, just in the way the guy's warming up, or where you might see a spot on his body, you might say, you know, there's where I'm going to go to because it looks vulnerable. So you never know what you're going to see. And then, you know, you need to focus completely on the guy who wants to knock you out. You know, so that you can't be waving to the crowds, you can't be looking around. You're just seconds away from an intense battle against somebody who wants to knock you out. So why not focus on that guy? See if you can spot something in those few minutes you've got to do it. You know, when the chips are on the table. And uh, I think uh, there's a little gamesmanship psychologically attached to it as well. And, um, you know, I think Amir said it. He goes, I thought I won the fight right there. So tactically it worked for Amir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, 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 I wanted the fight to go longer, obviously. I didn't. I didn't want it to go any longer. No, no, was the reason I wanted it to go for a bit longer was because I wanted to see the stuff that we've been working on. We did a lot of inside fighting, blocking shots, staying in the pocket, throwing yeah. uh, them up with shots. A lot of the defensive side we worked on as well. Mm. And the only way of, I mean, sparring, we uh, did amazing in sparring. I could see that a lot of things were working well. Mm -hmm. My hands were going back up again. Um, uh, Whereas normally I just go in wide open. <laughs> And, and get caught with silly shots, but so I've seen further in the fight how I was going to cope under a little bit of pressure with the same, with the game plan that Joe you know, told me. But look, um, we go back to the gym, hopefully take a couple of weeks off. I'll be back in the gym again. I've got Ramadan coming up as well. Um, I'm going to enjoy my break now, and um, my, my wife's expecting so Probably any day now she's going to be popping. Babysitting <laughs> 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 then. So. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Good timing. Good timing. Good timing. Yeah, timing's been perfect. Yeah, so. And, and to be honest with you, I didn't want to stress the missus, I tried to get this guy out of the way quick <laughs> because I thought I can't stress her out. So, um, but yeah, look, it's time to go home now and relax. And I'm back. The main thing is, I'm back. People kept tweeting me, messaging me. Um, I stopped answering questions on Twitter because people kept asking me, when are you fighting again? We want to see you fight again. And I think the best move I made was to join Sky and join Matchroom because this is where I want to be and I want to fight even more often. Um, still love to fight in America because you know that's where the big fights are as well. You can do that too. You can do that as well. Bring yeah. in. But now um, it's time to now see where the what the next step is, and I'm just happy with my performance, and I want to thank everyone for turning up and being being there. Yeah. Eddie, not only are you probably one of the best promoters in the world right now, everyone's flocking to you, but you're also a fan of the sport. For you, one fight for Khan, if it was next, what would it be? The next one. <coughs> Listen, I love the Kel I love the Kel Brook fight. I've always loved the Kel Brook fight. I think it's just, uh, the only thing, the thing about the Kel Brook fight is he's such a brilliant fight, technically, as well. They're both brilliant, and the styles are very well, different. Fight, yeah, it's yeah. like, but you know, Kel's like a, a, a like a sharp block, but Cammy's so fast that they can both punch. It would just, I love putting on huge events, and yeah. that is that's very event. robotic. I mean, no, yeah, that's, 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 that's very awkward for me now. Yeah, yeah. You got robotic and he's a good fighter. He's got fast, but I don't think he's, he's, he's caught with the speed, the movement, and everything. And being a polished up fighter now, you know, I've changed. When I've lost fights, when I've made mistakes, I've changed my whole self, changed my training. But Kel's always been there. Kel's always going to be Kel. Kel's a good fighter. Not limited, he's a good fighter. Look, he's, a, he's won a world title. Respect to him there. So I mean, if the fight ever happens, it would be big. I mean, look, you can see the the, the crowd out there how how they were cheering, cheering about it. So let's see, man. Look. Eddie, at this moment in time, is it a stadium fight, Brook Hart? Yes, it's a Wembley Stadium fight. It, it became it tonight. Yeah. To be honest, I mean, it it's always been massive. Like I said, things happen. It becomes you sort of start thinking, oh, would you just do it in the MEN or would you do it at Bolton or? And then after tonight, you just stick it straight in Wembley. It does ninety thousand like that. So, we'll see. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, yeah. I remember when he boxed Devon Alexander. It's a weird, weird <laughs> atmosphere out there. But over here, it sort of lifts you and can produce the kind of intensity that he produced in thirty-nine seconds. So, really, honestly, I, the answer is I don't know. But I know that there are half a dozen massive box office fights out there for him. No, people are going to go bananas if you don't make Brook fight, have you? Yeah, but, you know, we yeah, haven't made that for, for two years that, that fight should have had. And, and listen, it should still have, and it's got, that it was, it was, after Amir lost to Canelo and Kel lost to Errol Spence, yeah. it became a little bit smaller. Kel Brook looked great against Ravchenko, it became bigger. 
and they can't look great against the Greco, it's become bigger again. So it's just a case of looking at the numbers, taking our time. If that's the correct fire for the team, for everybody, then we'll make the fire. I, 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 there's no secret. Of course I want to see the fire. Yes. You all want to see the fire. But there are lots of fights out there, and it comes down to, do we want to win a world title? Yes. Do we want to make a lot of money? Sorry, yes. <laughs> well, I do. You know, I'll speak for you. <laughs> um, because Amir is in, not, not the end of his career, but this is the last six, chapter. seven, eight chapters. Yeah. So the, the aim is the biggest fights possible. And, and like I said, there are a lot of choices, but of course, the British public would like to see that. Okay, not next, they're both fine. Yeah, why don't the Joshua do first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely the first firing, and then we're over. Joe, how was it for you? I've been back in the ring, and you look splendid. I mean, credit to you. I spoke to you before the fight, and we kind of had a chat, and you predicted that you know he's been working on things that he's not worked on before. I mean, when he came in the ring, I've never seen him. He looked in good shape. He looked really positive. I think that had a, a mental effect on McGregor because he looked a bit nervous and he just jumped all over him. He was really well in work in the right direction. How do you feel about that? Really? Well, there's a lot to digest in that. But, uh, it, yeah, I mean, first off, you know, we're, we're, I'm working with a superior athlete here. He's, he's, he's one of a kind. Um, and I saw that manifest itself in the gym. So I, I, I knew if, if we... And we didn't have a long time, of course, to train, but in that time, we really did pack a lot of training in that five weeks. And, you know, Amir's got a lot left. You know, I, I'll, just, I'll just say this. Uh, the best is yet to come. And um, it was an incredible crowd tonight. I have to tell you, it was exciting for me. And uh, my experience here has been tremendous. And I want to thank Eddie and, and, frankly, the Shaw family, who treated me just tremendously, and the people of Walton and Liverpool, I just had a, I had a great time while we were working. It's always fun if you can work hard uh, and have a great time and still be successful. So, boy, I, I'd love to come back well, again and do it all over again. It, it, was, it, it was a little different, you know, being in the corner. And uh, you had Joe saying, keep your eye on him. Uh, he's not looking at me. You, you see him, you see him, you see, and I'm thinking, well, he's not looking back at me. I mean, I want him to look back at me to work him out. And, you see, so obviously, but I, I, I thought you might be looking back at him as well, but you're not looking at him, you're looking at me, and I'm thinking, <laughs> Yeah. Well, I will tell you, when we came out, he was looking at you, and when you started staring him down, no, no, he, he, turned, stopped, he, yeah. he turned around. I could see okay? that. I, I think and that's, that's part of the game. Yeah, that's when I, I saw that he kind of, you could see the fight was lost. Mm -hmm. So when I was looking at that's him, right. he, was, he stared at me for a couple of seconds, and after that, he stopped looking at me, would not look up, but look up at me, and that's when I thought, he's done now. He that's right. He's really intimidating. Yeah. Yeah. But the, I think one of the biggest shocks of the night was not the 39 second win, but was that Joe Goosen was out of Denny. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks, he looks well. Well, yeah, it's it's well yeah, I gotta thank uh, Robert, the commissioner, Robert Davis, said, Robert, Robert Smith. Smith Robert I'm sorry, Davis. Robert Smith, and for uh, for forcing my hand on it. But you know, we'll see if I can lobby and maybe <laughs> next fight. Any other questions, Ken? Is this now a permanent thing? Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean definitely. I mean, look, uh, obviously, I uh, hope Virgil gets better. Um, I had to, we had to make a move quick, um, so um, I had to call Joe, I've always been watching Joe, the way he trains his fighters, and it wasn't easy, camp was a very hard camp, and we had like five weeks to work with each other, so the sixth week was a fight, so we couldn't really do much on the fight week, but I like the way he's training me, I like the way he's pushing me, and I think that's what I need at this, uh, at this part of my, you know, of my career, and it's all to be on me, I mean, um, it didn't feel, it feels right now, but a couple of weeks before it didn't feel right, I've always, Joe was always watching me, would not take his eye off me, so I have to make sure I do everything perfect, otherwise he's going to tell me off, and sometimes you need that as a fighter, you know what I mean, I've had some trainers in the past who wouldn't do that, I'd be too busy around other fighters, but with Joe, um, I like the way he trained me today, and also like, you know, like Tony Brady as well, I like when...